Yo! What's up, my Toinks? It's me. It's Toasty. Today we're here in RPG Maker MZ, M M M Z, M Z, and this is the last time I'm gonna open this engine. Today we're going to be starting episode one of our let's make a horror game series inside of rpg maker mz we're going to be making a game in a similar vein as ao oni uh, i know ao oni doesn't have the most um complex premise for a horror game but that being said it's perfect for a let's make a game series because i don't have to put a lot of effort into coming up with a game idea so we're gonna just steal ao onis and do a little changes figure something out maybe you guys can get some ideas from it let's just uh start start doing things in the engine I'm a good game dev. Oh yeah, I should probably mention that I'm commentating over this after the fact, because if you were to hear my real-time commentary, this video would just end up being a series of, uh, supreme comedy. Anyways, first things first, I created a new project inside of RPG Maker MZ. This is a relatively important step. <laughs> Now that I've got MZ open, I immediately closed the project and deleted MZ off my computer because we don't need it yet. This game's development actually starts with GIMP and drawing out a layout for the house this game will take place in. Uh, um, uh, no, I swear, it's not Awoni, please. This isn't actually something I've done before in any of my projects, but it's definitely helpful for organizing your thoughts and is something I'm trying to do more frequently now. I mean, I don't really end up sticking to this layout, but it's the thought that counts, right? Anyways, after about five minutes of developing this artistic masterpiece, we actually hop into RPG Maker MZ and start the mapping process. Uh, so I haven't really looked at the RTP in depth yet, but now that I'm seeing it for the first time- What the fuck is this ceiling tile? Looks like the little ghost from Ghostbusters came everywhere. Yum 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 Die, read, die! Uh, anyways, after panicking over which tiles look decent enough that I won't get bullied in the comments, I decided to use these that don't look like Awoni at all, shut up, and get to work. I then proceeded to spend 20 minutes just making this entrance room. I even did a whole thing where I go and move the couch tile in GIMP so it sits more flush against the wall, and then decided, nope, Lamau, not gonna use the couch tile, I'm a very time-efficient game dev. But, yeah, if you don't like the couch tile just sitting in one tile and want it to be flush against the wall, just chuck it into a photo manipulation software, I use GIMP, use the select tool to move whatever's above it into another tile sheet or just to delete it, and then use the select tool again and move Mr. Couch up a bit. It's literally that simple, and it makes things look much better, which we need as much of as we can get considering how this RTP looks. Anyways, check out this super epic speed mapping of literally a single interior room. This is the speed at which Toast moves. <laughs> Oh, also important note, I decided to just say fuck it and use these super weird sci-fi doors for literally no reason, so... so much for the comments not yelling at me. The first map is done. This is the entrance room. Uh, Toasty, isn't that exactly the same as Awoni's? No, shut up! The stairs are different, you dumb fuck! Now, to add some atmosphere. Doing this is the only way to make my shitty mapping appear halfway decent. The way I do lighting in my main project, Amy, link to my Twitter's in the description if you want more info is by using a combination of picture overlays and an on-screen tint. This isn't a super revolutionary way of doing things, but it looks pretty good and I don't know how to use the CAS lighting plugin. So I went and stole the picture overlays I use in Amy and placed them into this game's project file. I'll leave a download link to these images in the description. After doing this and completing the daily ritual of closing RPG Maker and reopening it so my file changes appear, I slapped an event onto my map which ran the show picture event and made a tint screen effect. I tinkered with these for a few minutes until I got the effect I was looking for, and boom bada bing, it's time to put in footstep sounds. This is the most important part of making a horror game, and you know that's true because I said it. Anyways, all I did to get this working was copy the tutorial I made for footstep sounds in RPG Maker MV, since it literally works the exact same for MZ. I again stole from Amy and used her footstep sounds here, again download link is in the description. Then I made this clock BGS, which is in the RTP, play on the map, and boom bang your sister we have atmosphere.
While doing all of this, I actually forgot to run the constant parallel event that plays the common event for footsteps sounds, so doing all of this took like an extra 15 minutes of utter confusion because I'm a dumbass. Okay, cool. Our atmosphere's been made. Now it's time to do all the other maps. I figured it would be dumb to make every single map right away because usually over the course of me developing a game, I get new puzzle ideas or story ideas and whatnot, so all I did for today was map every room that connects to this main entryway. This took me 20 minutes, which is way too long. I'm so damn slow. Here's a speed mapping with epic, dramatic Kevin MacLeod music. Ha ha ha, you done there, past Toasty? Thank Christ, my ears were about to fall out. Okay, so we've finally finished mapping. Now I see why Echo 607 just used the default maps. Please don't bully me in the comments. There's just a few more things I added to the game before ending this video. I placed the footstep sounds parallel event onto every single map and made a new footstep sound event with a carpet sound effect for this room. I also fixed some tile collision errors and murdered Reed. Oh, and I forgot to mention that a while back I actually implemented this plugin that was shared in my Discord server after my, uh, previous display of hate towards this button that completely removes it and resizes the menus. So, cool beans, we've got our basic horror game set up. Now, I'm unfortunately not used to working with the RTP, especially not MZ's RTP, so if my mapping's a little bad, just, uh, just, just be nice in the comments. I'm just a little boy. This was, uh, initially going to be a collab series, but unfortunately, that didn't really work out. However, I do still want to involve the RPG Time community in some way. It probably, most likely, won't be to the extent of the amalgamation project that Driftwood Gaming is doing, but I still want to involve you guys, and if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. That would be awesome. Plus, then I can just blame it on all of you when the game turns out bad. That's going to be the end of this video, my croutons. I really hope you enjoyed this style of Let's Make a Game video. It's going to be how I do all future ones, uh, if and when I ever do those. And yeah, I'm just not very confident in my unscripted humor, so doing it like this is, is uh, better for everybody, you know. Anyways, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I am very like a beautiful swab.